The action button on the iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max is an exciting new feature, but it can be a little daunting to decide what to use it for with so many options available. In this video, we'll walk through some of the customizations available so you can choose what works best for you. Once you learn how to customize the action button, the next move is to pick the best way to use it. There are several Apple built-in options and the shortcut app allows you to create many more. If we haven't met, I'm Ellen from Ellen's Tips for iOS, where I help seniors master their iPhones and iPads. If you find value in the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Let's get started. Let's start with one of my favorite action button use cases, opening the camera app. The action button has finally made it easy to open the camera app so you never miss a special moment. And to do that, what we want to do is open the settings app, scroll until you see action button. There it is right here. Tap on the action button and you'll see that you'll have several, several options available as I scroll through. What we're going to do is locate the camera app and then now you, you need to choose an action that you want to happen. So if you tap on the photo option down at the bottom, here are the options available. So you can open the camera app so it's immediately ready to take a photo or a selfie or video, portrait or portrait selfie. Those are your options and the action button makes it really easy and quick to open the camera app. How about enabling your favorite accessibility feature? So you follow the previous instructions by going into settings and then tapping on action button and then scroll until you see accessibility and then tap on choose feature. And then there are all of the accessibility features that you have to choose from. You can select the one that's your favorite, and now you'll be able to access it very quickly using the action button. What if you wanted to use the action button to turn the page on your favorite digital books? So to do that, we have to create a short shortcut and it's very simple. So what we need to do is come into the shortcuts app. So let me locate that. We're going to go ahead and tap on the plus sign in the upper right corner and we need to add an action and the action is going to be turn page. So I'm going to tap in to search and I'm going to type in turn and you'll see turn page uh, becomes available. I'm going to tap on that. And really, that's as simple as it is. I'm going to tap on done. So we've created a shortcut. Now what we need to do is come back into the settings app to the action button. Let me go to settings. Let me tap on action button. There it is. We've selected shortcut. Now it says choose a shortcut. I'm going to do that. And then once I do that, I need to locate the shortcut that we created called turn page, tap on that. And now if I go into uh, Apple Books, so let me do that real quick. And if I open up, let me just open up this book here. And if I tap on the action button on the side, you'll see that the page is turned. And so I have to hold it, I believe. So there you go. And then if I push and hold it again, so the action button can turn pages when you enable it in shortcuts. The action button also gives you a way to easily and quickly create new calendar events. You know, when you create a calendar event inside the calendar app, it can take several minutes. You've got to open the app, create, create a new event, input all the details. And, you know, now with the action button, you can use the new event shortcut and use the action button to trigger it. You'll never have to unlock your iPhone or become distracted with something else. Let's show you how to create that. Again, we're going to go back into the shortcuts app. 
and we're going to create a new shortcut. So I'm going to tap on the plus button. I'm going to search for it. We're going to add a new action and then I'm going to search for new event. And let's see what comes up. Add new event under calendar. That's what you want to choose. I'm going to go ahead and select that. And it's going to give you prompts once you go to do that. So now I'm going to tap on done. That's as easy as it gets. And this time we're going to go back into the action button and we go back to shortcuts again. And this time, instead of using it to turn the page, we're going to click on the down and up arrows next to it. And we're going to find the option that we just created, new event. I'll tap on that. And now I'll swipe out. And if I push and hold on the action button, boom, your create a new event is immediately available for you to use. You fill in the form, tap on add, and it's now been added to your calendar. I'm sure you've heard about ChatGPT, where people get the answers to questions or learn new things using AI. You can download the free ChatGPT app and then create an Ask ChatGPT shortcut. Then use the action button to trigger it. ChatGPT allows you to input more complex prompts and get tailored advice on almost anything. So here's how to create this shortcut. Very simple. First, though, you must download the ch free ChatGPT app in the App Store. Let me show you what it looks like. So this is the icon that you'll be looking for in the App Store. That's ChatGPT. Download the free app. You don't need to pay for anything special. And then let's go ahead and bring up the Shortcuts app so you can see what you need to do. We're going to create a new shortcut, tap the plus button, and then add an action, and then type in Ask Chat and then it comes up. You'll see Ask Chat GPT. Go ahead and tap on that. And that's it. Tap on Done. Now let's go back to the Settings app. And now you'll see that this time I can select Ask Chat GPT. I'll select that. I'll push on the Action button. And immediately a prompt should come up, but it's not. So let me reset this again and try it. There it is. I'm going to go ahead and paste in my prompt. And I said, what do seniors love about iPhone? I'm going to tap on done. Give it a second. It's looking the answer up. And there you go. It gives you the answer to almost anything uh, using AI. So if you're interested in ChatGPT, give this a try. What if you simply want to turn your flashlight on and off? I mean, you can do this from inside the control center, but if you want to do it using the action button, come into the action area. I've told you how to get there. Settings, action button, and then slide through. You'll see there's so many options available, but there's the flashlight option. Let's just take a look at all of the option buttons. You can use silent mode if you want to. Then you have focus where you can go in and create a focus and then have the action button trigger that focus. The camera app, which we already talked about, the flashlight, you can use the action button for your voice memo if you'd like to. You can even have it translate phrases or conversations. You can have it open up as the magnifier. And we talked about the shortcuts that you can create for the action button accessibility we talked about. And then if you want to, you can have the action button do absolutely nothing. But the action button is a great new feature. Give it a try. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.